Hey everyone, uh, so we're gonna go over the release too. Um, basically, this is about all the releases. It's something called feature management. So, feature management. Uh, if you go into the system and you search for feature management, you're gonna get a list of um, basically features uh, in the system. And you can basically enable the feature. And and you can enable it for all users, etc. And what this is, is actually straight from Microsoft, very similar to in Windows when you can enable features in, in the operating system. Uh, when you get a new update from Microsoft, and that update might have a data impact where the data needs to be upgraded, it doesn't immediately upgrade your data without asking you. It actually comes into this feature management as a line telling you that you can go in there and update it yourself. And you can even schedule uh, the data update if there is one. Data update, and you put that at a certain day. And then it runs automatically. Or you can run it immediately. So it gives you a chance to go into, for example, your sandbox, which could be a copy of your system. Do this, do the data update, see if everything is fine. If it's fine, then you do it in your real production database. Um, so it's very handy. I should have covered this, of course, in the beginning, um, but I'm covering it now. Uh, some of these um, features you can see, if you get into the list, there's maybe 10 features that have data impact uh, that are list listed there. So, uh, and one of them that we're gonna cover in the next video actually requires you to go in there and enable that uh, before you start. So, so let's take a look at that in the system. Okay, so let's take a look at features or feature management. Uh, whenever Microsoft releases something new, uh, there is a chance that it comes up into this box here called feature management. So if I go in there, um, here you can see that we have a list of features, whether it's enabled or not. And um, also when it's going to be automatically enabled. So if you haven't turned it on by this deadline right here, it's going to be automatically enabled. So when you actually try to turn something on here, like if I go in here and just say for all users, it'll tell me or, or give me this warning here and ask me if I'm sure I want to do this. If I say yes, um, it's going to enable it. Sometimes it's going to run a data update. Uh, to change the data inside the system. And it'll tell me if I want to schedule that, like here, uh, you can see the data update actually finished. And if you schedule that, it comes into this box, or you can just run it immediately. Now the data updates um, are not supposed to be invasive, uh, but if you have modifications to your system, you might want to first run it in a test environment just see if everything goes fine or a sandbox environment and then just run it in your actual system. 